Well, we've been contacted by the uh, the station owner here, and uh, he reckons the place is overrun with pigs, and it is definitely a piggy place. Um, beautiful floodplain station, lots and lots of wet areas. Even now in the dry season that it is, it's still holding a lot of water uh, and a lot of good pig hunting habitat. I've gone and grabbed a Hick Micro Thunder, uh, and I've mounted it on a rifle. And um, we're going to have a bit of a play around tonight. It's my first night using a thermal rifle scope. I have played around with the Hick Micro monocular here a few times. This is the Falcon. And um, amazing, amazing piece of kit. Super, super fun to look at stuff at night time and see animals and just, yeah, out of curiosity. Awesome technology. This here is a new one for me. Haven't really played around with it at all. It took me five or six shots. It was sighted in like a breeze. This is a Weatherby 308 and um, shooting really, really well, tight groups. It's always that toss up between, as a hunter, loving seeing lots of pigs when you come here to have a hunt, whether it's with your bow and arrow or bring a mate out to shoot his first pig, and also looking after the landowner's requests and managing those animals so they don't get out of control. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're here, certainly not hunting. It's more of a uh, helping hand for the station owner to try and knock over a few pig numbers, also test out some new gear, and hopefully have a lot of fun at the same time. It's cool sneaking around at night time and don't need spotlights anymore with, with this sort of technology. So we'll walk around and see what we see and yeah, have a good time. Well, first ball down for the night with the, uh, the thunder. Crisp as like vision, mind blowing to walk around here just in pitch black and just, yeah, look through the the two thermal scopes and figure out what's what. A lot of wallabies out here. I think he's got more of a wallaby infestation than a pink one at the moment, but super cool. Um, yeah, we'll keep moving around this floodplain, just walking and see what else is around, but very cool. Um, I think we're about 30 meters from that, that ball. Come out into this little flat and these two little boars popped up out of a hole that Originally, we couldn't see. We could see a heap of wallabies, which has been the common theme tonight. And uh, then these two little little boars, young, really young little boars, really. You know, only probably 40 kilo pigs. But yeah, they popped up out of a hole and had a little trot along the, the flats, and just so easy to pick between animals and even see that they identify that they're boars before you even pull the trigger is pretty pretty cool really cool to actually see at night time if you're under a spotlight those details really are quite hard to see unless you're close with a really bright torch so to see the every feature of the pig and identify the animal clearly is amazing strength of um, this thermal technology well we're just driving this fence line on our way to a um, big swampy sort of soak up ahead and it's a bit of an open area out to our right and we pulled up had a quick little look sure enough probably 15 pigs bedded down um, we shot a few there they walked across the track and then shot a few more in there and I think we ended up with about seven pigs um, there is no way with with lights and the shadows and the mimosa that we would have firstly seen the pigs secondly shot multiple pigs um, just walking back like yeah so thick with mimosa and grass but being able to these here penetrating that grass and mimosa and seeing the pigs in the direction they were walking yeah we end up with seven pigs versus you know without this probably not even one well this is pretty well the furthest that we'll venture from the the homestead tonight and it was the last spot that that josh said to have a good look at um there's about two thousand breeder heifers in this paddock and uh yeah sure enough there was this big lump of a pig even with a couple thousand cows running around in the background still easily identify this pig from the from the cattle clear as day um we just walked around and made sure that the angle was right there was nothing behind us and um tried to spook him out of the lilies because plenty of crocodiles up here on this station and we didn't really want to go for a swim tonight um anyway he took off yeah, bull out of a gate, took off and um, managed to put a couple good shots on him on the run. And um, yeah, he's a solid, solid boar, uh, which is uh, sort of capped off the night 
nicely. I think we've probably got um, a good dozen, maybe a few extras um, pigs tonight. And um, yeah, it's been been remarkable to see this scope. First time using it. Certainly not a, um, a pro with these things at all, but it's been super easy to learn, super easy to pick up and super effective. So uh, been good, really good night.